Today, we're diving into a crucial topic, eight grocery products that are expected to double in price next month. These projections are based on the latest news, data, and economic trends. Number one, chicken eggs. Chicken eggs are an essential part of many household diets, offering a versatile and affordable source of protein. However, this essential staple is facing significant challenges that are expected to lead to sharp price increases in the near future. Recent outbreaks of avian influenza in both the United States and Europe have led to widespread culling of poultry, drastically reducing egg production and causing a significant strain on supply. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, reports that more than 10% of chickens have been culled in response to these outbreaks. This large-scale reduction in poultry numbers has already resulted in a 20% increase in egg prices, and the situation shows no signs of improving in the short term. The avian influenza outbreaks are particularly severe this year, impacting a greater number of farms and leading to higher mortality rates among chickens. Avian influenza, or bird flu, is a highly contagious viral disease that affects bird species worldwide. The disease can spread quickly through flocks, leading to high death rates and necessitating the culling of infected and at-risk birds to prevent further spread. The current strain of avian influenza has proven especially virulent, compounding the challenges faced by poultry farmers. The impact of these outbreaks extends beyond immediate egg shortages. The reduction in the number of laying hens means that it will take time to rebuild flocks and return to previous levels of production. This lag time further exacerbates the supply shortage, making it likely that egg prices will continue to rise. Industry experts predict that prices could potentially double in the coming weeks as the effects of the culling become more pronounced and the supply chain struggles to keep up with demand. In addition to the direct impact of the avian influenza outbreaks, other factors are contributing to the rising cost of eggs. Increased feed prices, due to higher costs for grains and other feed components, are putting additional financial pressure on poultry farmers. Energy costs have also risen, affecting the overall cost of egg production. These combined factors are creating a perfect storm that is driving egg prices upward. Consumers should be prepared for these price increases and consider how they might adjust their grocery budgets to accommodate higher egg costs. For many, this may mean seeking alternative sources of protein or exploring different recipes that use fewer eggs. It is also a reminder of the broader vulnerabilities in our food supply chain and the importance of supporting measures that can help mitigate the impact of such outbreaks in the future. Number two, pasta. Pasta, including varieties such as spaghetti and macaroni, is a staple food for many families around the world. Its versatility and ease of preparation make it a popular choice for meals. However, the pasta market is currently facing significant challenges that are expected to lead to steep price increases in the near future. Severe drought conditions in Italy, one of the world's largest producers of durum wheat, the key ingredient in pasta, have drastically reduced crop yields, setting the stage for a potential price surge. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, Durham wheat production in Italy has decreased by 15% due to these drought conditions. Durham wheat, known for its high protein and gluten content, is essential for producing the high quality pasta that consumers expect. The reduction in crop yields means that there is less raw material available to meet global demand, leading to increased competition and higher prices. This 15% decrease in production has already caused pasta prices to surge by 25%. Consumers are starting to feel the pinch, and further price hikes are anticipated as the supply constraints continue. The drought has not only affected current yields, but also poses a threat to future harvests. Ongoing dry conditions and water shortages mean that farmers are struggling to maintain their crops, and there is little relief in sight. The impact of reduced durum wheat production extends beyond Italy. Other countries that rely on Italian imports for their pasta production 
are also feeling the effects. With global supply chains interconnected, a shortfall in one major producing country can ripple through the entire market, leading to shortages and price increases worldwide. Several factors contribute to the severity of the situation. Climate change has exacerbated weather extremes, making droughts more frequent and intense. Farmers are facing increasing difficulties in managing these conditions, and traditional agricultural practices are being challenged by the changing climate. Additionally, the high cost of irrigation and other adaptive measures is putting financial strain on farmers, further reducing their ability to produce sufficient crops. In response to these challenges, some farmers are exploring alternative wheat varieties that are more drought resistant. However, transitioning to new crop types takes time and involves significant investment. In the meantime, consumers are likely to face higher pasta prices. For families that rely on pasta as a dietary mainstay, these price increases may require adjustments to their grocery budgets. It could also drive some consumers to seek out alternative food options or switch to less expensive types of pasta. On a larger scale, the situation underscores the vulnerability of global food systems to climate change and the need for more resilient agricultural practices. Number three, chicken meat. Chicken meat is a crucial source of protein for many people around the world. It's favored for its versatility, nutritional value, and relatively low cost compared to other meats. However, the poultry industry is currently facing significant challenges that are driving up production costs and consequently consumer prices. One of the primary factors contributing to this trend is the rising cost of animal feed, particularly corn and soy. Over the last quarter, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, has reported a 30% increase in the cost of animal feed. Corn and soy are essential components of chicken feed, providing the necessary nutrients to ensure healthy and productive poultry. The surge in feed costs is attributed to several factors, including adverse weather conditions affecting crop yields, increased demand for biofuels, and global supply chain disruptions. These factors have collectively created a perfect storm, driving feed prices to unprecedented levels. As a result of these rising feed costs, poultry farmers are facing significantly higher production expenses. Feed typically accounts for a substantial portion of the total cost of raising chickens, so even modest increases in feed prices can have a pronounced impact on overall production costs. The 30% rise in feed costs has already led to a 15% increase in the price of chicken meat. However, this is just the beginning as continued cost pressures are expected to drive prices even higher in the coming months. The economic principle of supply and demand further exacerbates the situation. As production costs rise, some poultry farmers may scale back their operations or exit the market entirely, reducing the overall supply of chicken meat. Meanwhile, consumer demand remains strong particularly as chicken is often viewed as a healthier and more affordable alternative to other meats. This imbalance between supply and demand puts additional upward pressure on prices. Moreover, the global nature of agricultural markets means that issues in one region can have ripple effects worldwide. For instance, poor crop yields in major corn and soy producing countries like the United States, Brazil, and Argentina can reduce global supplies and drive up prices. Additionally, geopolitical tensions and trade policies can further disrupt supply chains, adding to the volatility of feed prices. Consumers are already feeling the impact of these rising costs at the grocery store, and the trend is likely to continue. Industry experts warn that if current conditions persist, the price of chicken meat could potentially double in the near future. This would have significant implications for household food budgets especially for those who rely on chicken as a primary protein source. To mitigate the impact, consumers might consider exploring alternative protein sources or adjusting their meal planning to make the most of available resources. At the same time, there is a growing need for policy measures and industry innovations aimed at stabilizing feed prices 
and supporting sustainable agricultural practices. Number four, chocolate. Chocolate is a beloved treat enjoyed by millions of people around the world. Its rich flavor and versatility make it a favorite in desserts, snacks, and beverages. However, the chocolate industry is currently facing significant challenges that are driving up costs and potentially leading to a sharp increase in prices. Recent strikes and political instability in Ivory Coast and Ghana, the world's largest producers of cocoa beans, have severely disrupted supplies. Ivory Coast and Ghana together produce about 60% of the world's cocoa beans, the essential ingredient in chocolate. Political instability and labor strikes in these countries have caused substantial disruptions in the production and export of cocoa beans. The International Cocoa Organization reports a 25% reduction in cocoa bean shipments due to these disruptions. This reduction in supply has already led to a 20% increase in chocolate prices, and further price hikes are expected as the supply issues persist. The labor strikes, primarily driven by demands for better wages and working conditions, have halted cocoa harvesting and processing activities. These disruptions come at a critical time when global demand for chocolate remains high. Consumers in major markets such as North America, Europe, and Asia continue to crave chocolate, and the holiday seasons typically see a spike in chocolate consumption. The imbalance between high demand and reduced supply is a key factor driving up prices. Political instability in these cocoa-producing regions adds another layer of complexity to the supply chain. Uncertain political climates can lead to inconsistent regulatory environments, disruptions in transportation and logistics, and overall uncertainty for cocoa farmers and exporters. These factors collectively make it challenging to maintain a steady flow of cocoa beans to international markets, further exacerbating supply shortages. In addition to these immediate disruptions, there are longer-term concerns that could affect cocoa production. Climate change poses a significant threat to cocoa farming, as cocoa trees are sensitive to changes in temperature and rainfall patterns. Increasingly erratic weather conditions could lead to lower yields and further supply constraints in the future. Moreover, the economic instability caused by political unrest can discourage investment in sustainable farming practices and infrastructure improvements needed to adapt to climate change. For chocolate manufacturers, the rising cost of cocoa beans translates to higher production costs. These costs are often passed on to consumers in the form of higher prices for chocolate products. Some manufacturers may also explore alternative ingredients or adjust their product formulations to mitigate cost increases, but these changes can affect the quality and flavor of the final product. Consumers should be prepared for the possibility of higher chocolate prices in the near future. While chocolate remains a beloved treat, the combination of labor strikes, political instability, and long-term environmental challenges is putting significant pressure on the industry. This situation highlights the interconnectedness of global supply chains and the importance of addressing both immediate and long-term issues to ensure the sustainability of cocoa production. Number five, flour. Flour is a fundamental ingredient in baking and cooking, forming the basis of countless recipes worldwide. From bread and pastries to pasta and sauces, Flour is indispensable in many culinary traditions. However, the global flour market is currently facing significant disruptions that are leading to steep price increases. Poor wheat harvests in Russia and Ukraine, two of the world's largest wheat exporters, have severely depleted global flour supplies, setting the stage for a substantial price surge. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, reports a 30% drop in wheat exports from Russia and Ukraine due to adverse weather conditions and geopolitical tensions. Both countries play critical roles in the global wheat supply chain, and their reduced output has had far-reaching impacts. This decline in wheat production has already led to a 25% increase in flour prices, and the situation is expected to worsen in the coming months. 
Several factors have contributed to the poor wheat harvest in these key exporting countries. Adverse weather conditions, including droughts and unseasonably cold temperatures, have significantly impacted crop yields. In addition, ongoing geopolitical tensions and conflicts have disrupted farming activities and export logistics, further compounding the supply issues. The combination of these factors has created a perfect storm, leading to a significant reduction in the availability of wheat for flour production. The impact of these supply shortages extends beyond just flour prices. Wheat is a staple crop used in various forms across the food industry. A reduction in wheat supply affects not only flour, but also products such as bread, pasta, and cereals. As flour prices continue to rise, the cost of these derived products is also expected to increase, putting additional financial strain on consumers. In response to these supply challenges, some countries are exploring alternative sources of wheat or increasing domestic production. However, these measures take time to implement and may not fully offset the immediate shortages. Furthermore, global wheat reserves are limited, and drawing down on these reserves can only provide temporary relief. The situation is further complicated by the interconnected nature of global agricultural markets. Disruptions in one region can quickly ripple through the entire market, affecting prices and availability worldwide. For example, reduced wheat exports from Russia and Ukraine have led to increased demand for wheat from other producing countries, driving up global prices even further. Consumers are already feeling the impact of rising flour prices at the grocery store, and the trend is likely to continue. Industry experts warn that if current conditions persist, the price of flour could potentially double in the near future. This would have significant implications for household food budgets, particularly for those who rely heavily on flour-based products. To mitigate the impact of rising flour prices, consumers might consider diversifying their diets and exploring alternative grains and flours, such as rice flour, almond flour, or chickpea flour. These alternatives can provide nutritional benefits and reduce dependence on wheat-based products. Additionally, supporting local farmers and food producers can help strengthen domestic food systems and increase resilience against global supply disruptions. Number six, cheese. Cheese, a culinary delight enjoyed globally, is encountering notable hurdles in production and pricing at present. Escalating milk costs, augmented energy expenses for cheese manufacturing, and labor scarcities within dairy farming and processing facilities are jointly inflating production outlays, thereby nudging consumer prices upward. The primary ingredient in cheese, milk, has seen a steady uptick in prices due to multifaceted reasons. One prominent factor is the mounting cost of animal feed, propelled by factors such as erratic weather patterns and heightened demand. Moreover, unfavorable climatic conditions in key dairy-producing regions have impinged upon milk yields, constricting supply and pushing prices higher. Energy expenses constitute another substantial aspect of cheese production costs. The cheese-making process entails heating milk, maturing cheese under controlled conditions, and operating equipment, all necessitating considerable energy inputs. With global energy prices on an upward trajectory due to geopolitical tensions and evolving energy policies, the cost of cheese production has correspondingly surged labor scarcities in dairy farms and cheese processing plants further exacerbate these challenges. The demanding nature of dairy farming and cheese production, coupled with relatively modest wages, renders it challenging to attract and retain skilled workers. This dearth of labor is compounded by a range of factors, including demographic shifts and competition from alternative industries. As per insights from the International Dairy Federation, IDF, these amalgamated factors have engendered a substantial rise in cheese production costs, estimated at around 35%. Consequently, consumers are witnessing a notable uptick of about 20% in cheese prices. However, industry pundits caution that prices may potentially double in the near term if prevailing trends persist. Consumers are beginning to grapple with the tangible effects of these escalating prices at grocery stores. For many, 
cheese is a dietary staple and heightened prices may compel them to reassess their consumption patterns. Some individuals may opt for more budget-friendly cheese varieties, while others might contemplate reducing their overall cheese intake or exploring alternative protein sources. Effectively addressing these challenges necessitates concerted efforts from stakeholders across the cheese industry. Investments in sustainable agricultural practices, endeavors to stabilize energy expenses, and initiatives to attract and retain labor within the dairy sector are indispensable for tackling these challenges and ensuring the long-term viability and accessibility of cheese production. Number seven, oatmeal. Oatmeal stands as a favored and wholesome breakfast option for many, renowned for its nutritional value and versatility. However, recent challenges in oat production, particularly in Canada and the United States, two leading oat producers, are exerting notable pressure on supply and pricing dynamics. Drought conditions in these key oat growing regions have led to substantial reductions in harvest yields precipitating concerns about the availability and affordability of oatmeal. According to Statistics Canada, oat yields have dwindled by an alarming 25% in the wake of prolonged droughts, a significant blow to the oat industry. The United States, similarly affected by adverse weather patterns, has witnessed a corresponding decline in oat production. These diminished yields have reverberated throughout the supply chain impacting oatmeal manufacturers and consumers alike. The scarcity of oats has inevitably translated into higher prices for oatmeal products. The law of supply and demand dictates that a decrease in supply, coupled with sustained demand, invariably leads to upward pressure on prices. Consequently, consumers have observed a noticeable uptick in oatmeal prices with reports indicating a 20% increase in response to the supply shortages. Moreover, the outlook for oatmeal prices remains uncertain with expectations of further escalations looming on the horizon. The sustained effects of the drought conditions, compounded by the inherent time lag in agricultural recovery, suggest that oat production may not rebound swiftly. As a result, Industry analysts caution that oatmeal prices could potentially double from current levels if the supply shortages persist unabated. The ramifications of these price increases extend beyond mere financial implications for consumers. Oatmeal, often lauded for its health benefits and affordability, serves as a staple breakfast choice for many individuals and families. The prospect of substantially higher prices may prompt consumers to reassess their dietary preferences and spending habits, potentially leading to shifts in consumption patterns and purchasing decisions. In response to these challenges, stakeholders within the oat industry are exploring various strategies to mitigate the impact of supply shortages and price escalations. Efforts to enhance crop resilience to climate variability diversify sourcing strategies, and promote sustainable farming practices are underway to bolster oat production and safeguard against future disruptions.